and hello everyone and welcome to my blog today i'm going to discuss more reasons why i moved away from america and to russia and i've seen a lot of these similar types of videos being made by other youtubers like i was watching this guy who moved from america to spain and he talked about all the differences and i thought that the video was super uh, interesting and a lot of the reasons that he discussed were very similar. Now, I'm also going to film uh, a little bit around Moscow for you, so you guys can see during the summer, it's super interesting. Also, some news about my channel. Um, I've, I bought um, a lot of like good equipment recently. I bought a new microphone. I hope that this uh, microphone is a lot better than the previous one. I also purchased... Uh, a remote microphone so i can film all kinds of things with me having a microphone from like far away you know how they film like pranks and stuff like that so it really helps uh you know filming when you have that like uhf microphone type of thing there's a lot of noise coming around so i'm trying to like avoid it there's like lawnmowers and cars and things like that but anyway let's start with the reasons and by the way these reasons are not going to concern the current uh, situation in Ukraine. And uh, basically, the, the things that I'm going to talk about have a lot to do with not just Russia, but Europe in general. You know, a lot of the things that I'm going to discuss, like the differences between Russia and America, apply to Europe overall. So it has nothing, you know. I, I moved to Russia in 2019, way before COVID way before like Ukraine and uh, to summarize right a lot of people have asked me well are you gonna move out of Russia are you gonna move away from Russia there's all kinds of like noises and motorcycles but anyway they asked me are you gonna move away from Russia because of everything that's going on while uh, everything that's going on is completely regrettable and bad right and I cannot really talk about it and I don't want to because you can get in trouble for that in Russia. Even with all of the problems that are going on, it's still way better for me to live here than in California. Now imagine how bad things were in California that even, you know, Russia is not like a cake or, you know, by any means, it's not a paradise, but I have the, the horror that I experienced while living in California probably cannot be duplicated. So let's uh, talk about uh, reasons. So I would say the number one reason for me is, and it's kind of simple yet people like don't realize it. By the way, see that car? Uh, See, this car means they support what's going on in Ukraine. Now, I'm not going to judge either way, just showing you that I, I think it's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, the number one reason for me that I moved away, grand drum roll, is health. Health, uh, physical and mental health. All right, and just look how beautiful, look, look how beautiful uh, Moscow is in the summer look at this now if you're wondering uh which part of moscow this is this is not uh, downtown it is basically uh <clears throat> it is basically like a suburb so um so the downtown area or the closer you get to center in the city, the more urban it looks. But anyway, I, uh, we were talking about health. So when I lived in the United States, the situation was not healthy for me. I felt physically sick from the moment I moved there. Now, why do you think that is? And I'm not talking like shit on America at all. I am just telling you the truth. You know, I, I was watching a video of Elon Musk and while I'm not like a huge you know fan of his he said one thing that kind of resonated to me that he was searching for the truth 
his quest for truth. All right. And I can tell you that, let me cross the street. I'll show you guys a more like a pond that I like. Hold on, let me just cross so that I don't get killed by cars. So Elon Musk said that he was searching for the truth, right? This is what I was searching for. So I felt like shit. I had stomach aches. I had depression for years. I lived in the United States for since I was 13 till 38. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out what was going on with me. Because obviously, you know, I tried to like, uh, I tried to, I tried to determine the reason why I, I am not feeling well. And I can tell you that uh, the reason I was not feeling well is one, I was away from my home country, all right? It's like planting a tree. You know, I'm a tree that grew up in Russia. So I, if you replant me to another part of the world, like I'm not gonna feel well. You know, uh, I was depressed. I didn't have friends. I had trouble connecting with people. And, you know, in light of the recent events that are going on in America, America overall is just not a good place. For example, Canada is much better. Even with all the problems, Canada is much better. So the food was crap. People were not friendly. I felt depressed. I felt like shit. So <clears throat> when I moved to Russia, I... Uh, I've lived in Russia for three years. No question at all, I feel much better than I did before. And even though I still have a bunch of health problems that I'm going to have for the rest of my life because I was traumatized as a child by immigration, I'm doing much better. So health is the <clears throat> number one thing. Uh, that includes, this includes um, physical health, mental health, and all of that. The next reason, and uh, it is kind of uh, connected to the previous reason of health, is uh, food. So, the, the food in Russia is much better and while it's not perfect and I'm kind of getting closer to a road and it's gonna be noisy so I'm gonna speak actually into the mic but uh, I probably should pause let me just stand here while the light turns green I'll just show you a little bit around you know by the way remember the movie Eurotrip where they said that it looks much more depressing during the winter. That was complete truth. Russia does look way different in the winter. Summer is all nice, beautiful, you know, uh, garden-like, perfect. The summers here are better than the summers in America because they're not as hot. The winters, by the way, winters, uh, can be absolutely brutal, absolutely brutal. And, and, and they are, uh, see, there is a lot of construction going on. These are construction cranes. All right, so it's time to go. We'll cross the street. So let me uh, talk about food. Food is connected to health and food is very important you know like i um could not handle the food in america because i constantly here i'm gonna show you a pond that i love to walk around this pond is just beautiful look at the freshly cut grass looks good by the way, we're coming on nine minutes and I've been trying to record longer videos. So, <clears throat> so I think mission accomplished. I hope this video gets to like 20 minutes or whatever. So yeah, this, um, 
I'm gonna show you this pond, look at it. There's a church, idyllic. This building is super nice and the apartments there are kind of expensive. People have all kinds of dogs. But anyway, so the food here is like, tastes really good to me. Uh, I don't get a stomach ache from it and uh, it's just, you know, check out the three Gopniks behind me. I, I think if I was bald and bankrupt, he would have gone up to them and talked to them, but I'm freaking, you know, I'm not as crazy as him, so... If, if, I, had a, um, if I had a friend with me, maybe I would have, I don't know. I mean, gone up to them, like, to interview them or whatever, but, you know, they, it's not like they have a lot to say, whatever. So not a huge loss, but anyway. So... Um, so I really missed the food, the food in Russia is one of the best things here it is amazingly good when it's uh, freshly cooked so the food i mean th there is a lot of like processed food here as well but uh, it's uh, it's a good situation all right let's go on to the next topic and it's a big one so <clears throat> some girls it's actually useful to film this phone because I'm using it as a rear view mirror to like look at everybody in the back um, anyway let's go on to the next thing which is cost of living which is a lot of people who move away from the United States talk about let me film the other side for you guys um, by the way people have a lot of dogs here a lot. So the cost of living, basically, if I was to summarize it, right, it's much cheaper to live here if you don't count things like car, buying, buying a car, buying certain like real estate and certain expensive items. So basic life is much cheaper. And that is one thing that um, everyone talks about living America is the insane, um, the absolutely insane out of control cost of living situation concerning basic things. Even if you ha have your house paid off, the property taxes, the utilities, the police tickets, the just um, I'm just looking around, it's really nice here, I'm gonna show you guys, here, look at this. It's one of my uh, favorite places in Moscow, is this place right here, and this uh, camera also has a really cool zoom effect, look at this, boom, I feel like a spy. So, um, oh, you know what else I like is the look at this. Like, there's all kinds of like dandelions here, and this grass smells smells like Russia. Anyway, I got tired of the cost of living situation in America. And while Russia has had, you know, has been like raising prices on certain things, I can still live here on, uh, I can still live here on about $300 per month if I need to, you know, which was not possible in the United States. Nice girl. Um, so, oh, I, I want to show you, I don't know, I think this is called Lapu in Russian. I know what this thing is called in America, but it's like you can use it as a, 
doesn't smell like anything. This flower does smell a little bit. I feel like I'm in the car. Look at this. It's like people having a shashlik or whatever. Anyway, so I can live here on $300 per month if I need to. That includes my cell phone bill, my utility bill for my apartment, food, and all basic expense. So if I don't have to go to the dentist or if I have, don't have to buy anything, I basically live here on $300 per month. Now let me know if you live in Europe or the United States, how much $300 will get you. By the way, I don't need a car here, so I can technically live without a car. Now, what kind of sucks is that things in Russia have not been going well and things have been go getting worse since the 2019 COVID crisis, just like, you know, the case was everywhere else. So it was even better um, to live here before COVID. So it's kind of getting uh, worse here. So, um, so I would say that those are the three top reasons why I moved. And let me talk about two more. Okay, so the top three reasons to summarize are health, food, and uh, cost of living. The next fourth one is people and that is kind of, I think, uh, a bit uh, because I am originally from Moscow, but I have way more friends here. I have way more people I can talk to and while one of, I don't know, one of my issues my whole life has been that I'm sort of not very communicative, it's difficult for me to make friends. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's anything out of the ordinary. I, I don't think I'm like completely like, uh, you know, by myself all the time, but I'm by myself a lot. And having that type of personality in America is just, it's like, you know, you'll basically like die of depression. So remember when I was watching a guy from, by the way, there is a tank there. Check it out. Really cool. So, uh, this is one thing the guy from Spain that I was watching talked about when he said he moved uh, to Europe. And it is a Europe specific, oh, I, I don't know, like there, there is a uh, YouTube channel called Not Just Bikes, right? And they also talk about it. Like I, I might do um, a few videos about uh, urban design and uh, design of the streets because that's what not, not just bikes talks about a lot. He talks about the way that uh, streets are designed, <sighs> the way the, you walk around, like everything is walkable and the same way that uh, Netherlands is the, the same way that Netherlands is walkable, the same way that uh, Spain is walkable, uh, Russia is, <clears throat> is also very walkable and you see this like, you know, you see people walking around, right? Just like I am, you know, I'm walking around, everybody's walking around. What is the purpose of all this? That you get to be around people. Look how many people are on the street. You know, check it out. See, everybody's going somewhere, you know. Everybody's walking somewhere. This is not just for, you know, shits and giggles, like they say in America. This is actually, people need physically, psychologically to be around people, to walk around. Like a person actually needs to walk. See how I'm like walking, moving my feet. Like, uh, when, when you don't get enough of that, when, when, when you live in a place 
where, um, by the way, behind me is a dollar store. See this uh, fixed price right here? Um, this is the Russian equivalent of a dollar store, and I think I'm gonna go there and film, film it for you guys. Um, but anyway. So, as you can imagine, um, depression is a very common problem around the world. It is a very common, it is a very common problem. Nice girl. It is a very common problem in Russia. And it is a very um, common problem in America. So, how do people battle um, depression, you know, like it is an issue for me, it is an issue for everyone whether whether they admit it or not, so the way, and this is for on average, right, there's a lot of people who don't care, but on average people need to walk around, people need these walkable neighborhoods, you know, People need um, <clears throat> that is one thing where I was going completely insane with America is just the whole um, crazy people like and these people sometimes they go so fast that they are like this close to hitting you. There's been like people have died because they got hit on electric scooters and things like that. So, this dog. So, by the way, um, around me you can see this is a typical neighborhood, suburban. You, there's no tourists here, so tourists usually don't go here. They usually go to Red Square and things like that. But, <sighs> So the number four reason was people and the number five reason was urban design. So just to go over that, I, um, I enjoy the cities here, just like people who go to Europe, who go to Netherlands, European type of thing. The cities are designed for walks, for there is public transportation and you can just get outside, go, you don't need the car and <clears throat> and uh, the, the way that the United States was designed with all this car-centric type of places, especially Southern California, is just complete hell um, as far as that goes. So those are the top five reasons. Let me summarize them again. So the number one is health, the number two is food. Uh, the number three is cost of living, the number four is communications with people, and number five is walkability and design of cities. So that's it. It's a 20, almost four minute video. Don't forget to subscribe. I see you guys in the next video.